Hello loves, welcome back to my channel y'all. How are you? I hope you guys are well. Hope you guys are feeling good. It's so good to have you back on my channel. This is going to be an update energy. Uh, pick a card based off how is your person feeling. We are going to go ahead and touch base on your beloved's feelings, okay? I do want to go ahead and say thank you so much, you guys, for being so sweet, so amazing, for being so supportive to the channel so far, um, and also for those of you who are very kind and generous and who donate to the channel, I absolutely appreciate uh, just you guys thinking about me, um, you guys keeping me in your prayers and all of your kind uh, words thoughts and bringing such a high vibrational energy into this room, into this space. With that being said, for those of you who are new to my channel, welcome in you guys. I am a psychic medium. I do read tarot intuitively. I start with a channeled message and then I move on to the description of the cards. I am clairvoyant, I am clairaudient, and I am a medium. I do offer mediumship-based readings, you guys. Those are priced a little bit differently. I do have all that information below. Um, also, if you guys are interested, I do have uh, testimonials, reviews on my Instagram, and I have uh, a Reiki giveaway session. I want everybody to be a part of this, okay? So please join me on my Insta. Also, if you guys are feeling generous and would like to continue to support the channel, please make sure to like, share, subscribe hit that notification bell so you know my videos are uploaded. Also, don't forget to um, go ahead and comment below. Let me know if this resonates, okay, you guys? I do have my cash app below if you guys are feeling generous. I have my PayPal, I have my Indie Deck wish list, and I have my Amazon wish list so far. I wanna go ahead and say thank you so much for all of you who have been so generous. Mimi, thank you again for your generous cash app donation. Absolutely adore you. Wow, I am seriously so, so, so speechless. Um, I just got uh, a new certification for Crystal Reiki. I specifically, I already worked with crystals, you guys, but I specifically wanted to master uh, the grids. Um, I do want to master grids for us because I am... Um, going to go ahead and launch some new Reiki sessions. Um, they're going to be a little bit different. I have some new stuff coming up, so please, uh, you know, stay on the lookout for that because I'm getting real creative lately, okay? Awesome. So let's go ahead and get started. My loves, we're going to have four decks. We're going to see what is going on with your person. We have the first is the Moon Power Tarot, which is what I bought with our donations. This is my favorite, favorite deck. It is the Sailor Moon uh, Tarot deck. The second is the 78 Tarot. Thank you again, Rhoda. Um, the third, Cannoli. Um, one of my subscribers gifted this to me, both of these. So thank you. You know who you are. Please comment below. Thank you, thank you. The third is the cannoli. Okay, the fourth pile is the sacred feminine. Okay, I will make sure to go ahead and put all the names at the bottom so we are on track, okay? So yes, a lot of love. Thank you for bringing all of your high vibrational energy into the space. Let's go ahead and get started. Pile one. How is your beloved feeling? Let's get some energy updates. Okay. Some of you guys are um, definitely dealing with a Leo Sag Aries. I'm getting a very strong Leo energy. Um, I am hearing strength, pride. Um, there's something about flowers here that's very important. It's almost like your person is watching you, pile one specifically, blossom like a flower, okay? So both of you guys are definitely in a very weird spot, okay? I am getting a lot of distractions. Your masculine is getting very distracted by flowers. I don't know. Um, something about you is so out 
of the ordinary. This person is literally in cloud nine about you. I'm getting that they, whenever they talk to you, pile one, this person feels, I'm hearing like they're, they're moved into another dimension. You guys really move this person, pile one. This person is feeling very wounded right now. You guys are dealing with someone who has not dealt with their shadow work. Okay, pile one. Um, this person is very uh, spiritual as well. I feel both of you guys have a strong spiritual connection. This could be a twin flame, a soulmate. For some of you, it is a karmic partner. But I'm hearing five decades worth. So, wow. You guys have had several incarnations together. I do feel a lot of you guys have been um, rotating around Saturn. I'm having a vision of this rotation around Saturn, which means both of you guys are really working through some past life karma. Both of you guys are working through some heavy transits right now involving this connection. This is very powerful because it is moving you closer to your true node, your north node energy. We have forgiving and learning. So what's going on this connection? I'm getting a lot of back and forth, you guys. The angels have been trying to connect with your masculine to try to get them to see things from a higher perspective or a different perspective, okay? I feel what is really happening is the masculine here is really worried about their finances. The masculine here is worried about their 3D material world, okay? This is causing some problems because I feel this is causing a lot of them wanting to turn away from you. Listen, pile one, you guys are dealing with somebody who cannot look at you without losing themselves. This person is constantly losing themselves at the side of you. So maybe some of my lovely viewers here are Venetian energies. You guys are Libras. You guys are Taurus. You guys really have this beautiful Aphrodite essence or this Oshun essence. But either way, you take your person to a whole nother um, realm is what I'm getting, okay? So for some of you, this person is trying to work out um, a situation that they have at home that they don't want to be in. Maybe they are in a lifeless marriage or a marriage that is over. It's, it's like a contract that needs to be over. It could be their karmic. Um, but in turn, I'm almost getting the transformation here for you guys. You guys have really stepped into this beautiful owning your light, owning your power, You've definitely started to um, elevate your energy. I am getting a lot of roses and I'm getting a lot of um, reds and pinks. So a lot of you guys have really uh, stepped into a feminine role as well. The feminine here, I feel you have mastered a lot of your energy around this connection. And I'm getting a lot of you have been, um, I'm hearing taming, okay? My guides are saying that you have been taming a lot of your impulses around contacting this person, or you may be taming how you're reacting to this person, okay? I am hearing November, December. There are going to be some big changes in your connection around November, December. So it's almost like I'm hearing this connection is timeless. This love is timeless. Okay, there is a lot of beautiful energy around just really awakening a sense of purpose within the feminine. The feminine here has been walking a very thin line, okay? So how is this person feeling? I'm having a vision of you walking this very thin line in the air. It's like you have been trying to balance a lot of your energies to maintain this connection. And a lot of you guys, instead of balancing and mastering this situation, you've actually very gracefully have been mastering a lot of your self-love, which is seriously amazing, okay? I am hearing Sagittarius, so a lot of you guys may have some serious, like, very, very positive um, placements in Sag, like a Jupiter in Sag, or your rising is Sag, but there's a lot of positivity about the way you transmute your negative energy, okay? So how is this person feeling? So 
this person is feeling very clear about you and this connection right now. For some, I am getting a lot of gardening. They are focusing a lot of their energy around planting seeds, okay, for the future. They're focusing a lot of their energy around um, wanting to perfect their life, okay? This person is very deeply wounded from the past, you guys. I'm having a vision of a wound around their left leg, close to their calf. They have a scar. This person is also suffering. I don't know why I'm hearing suffering in silence. They do not talk about their pain, but, you know, their angels have been actively trying to get in their head about, you know, healing. And I feel in every photo here, there's an angel trying to get them to really process a lot of their emotions. I'm hearing, I have been forgotten, okay? So your person is heavily invested in the 3D because maybe you mirror some of this. There is a need to become very clear on who they are. This is about their life purpose. This is about who they're becoming. This is about feeling confident and clear about not just you, but about where they're headed in life. I'm getting some strong Capricorn placements, you guys, maybe a Capricorn Venus, this person or a seventh house, listen, they do not like roaming the earth, not knowing where they're headed in life. And I keep getting a vision of them touching the soil. They're really touching the soil. They're really feeling for the, the most fertile spots in the soil because they want to bring in a new sense of fruition into this relationship. But more importantly, they want to make something out of themselves. Okay. So how are they feeling? Let's see. How are they feeling about you? I am getting a lot of root chakra energy. I'm getting reds. I'm getting oranges. So there's a lot of sexual energy around this connection. I feel that both of you guys may be feeling such a high frequency when you're together or when you talk. It's like there's a lot of... Um, there's a lot of growth, but there's a lot of passion, okay? So how are they feeling about you, pile one? What did I say? We have the Ace of Wands. This person cannot deny the passion that you inspire. Both of you guys have said, listen, this is somebody's twin flame, okay? This is somebody's soulmate. This is an activation of the crown chakra. This is an activation of self, okay? I'm also hearing 10th house. So when I think of 10th house, I always think about public and who you are in public, right? Who you are in terms of dealing with the public and your your like I call it, your public face. That could also, you know, obviously your rising sign is definitely how you approach life, the cover to your book. But when I think of 10th house, that's really how you deal with your recognition, okay? So at least the way I was learned. But let's move on. How are they feeling? Okay. So this person, the Hierophant, again, I did feel a lot of focus and determination, not just around themselves, but around you. They are very calculated. This person is very calculated, very determined. And although you have created so much beauty around, you know, you are their muse. This person considers you a muse. They feel like they have not planted any seeds in their garden yet. And this is what they're focused on right now, you guys. This person is really focusing on growing a 3D uh, career, okay? They feel like you're very beautiful. Some of you guys are into alchemy. Some of you guys are angels on earth. That's all of us. But um, some of you guys practice... Reiki healing. Some of you guys are really big on the spirit realm. You guys are very big on healing other people and them. They can sense your aura. This person can sense how beautiful and pure you are. I believe this is Sailor Mercury, one of my other favorites. So there's a lot of water energy. There's a lot of, um, you know, enlightened communication. You guys are very, very high frequency. So they know that they feel that you are a level up from other people. I'm hearing opposites attract. So although they feel very different, you know, like you you are not fitting their, their traditional uh, partner, they do feel inspired by you. They feel like you bring something new to the table. They feel like you really ignite a level of, oof, like they just, they. it's like I'm hearing you're so different. 
So how do you do what you do? You have really captivated this person. Some of you, um, this person has a lot of Pisces in their chart. So they're always dreaming like this person is a dreamer or this is you. So there's a lot of um, crown chakra energy when you guys are together. Uh, they are feeling very much in their power, though, in terms of what they want. This is someone who feels that you are very valuable, that you are a teacher. You are teaching them how to transmute their own negative energies. Such a highly spiritual connection here. Wow. Past lives. Seriously, you guys have had many. I am getting a lot of circles here and a hula hoop. So this is about cycles ending and cycles beginning. Okay. How are they feeling about you? So we have the seven of wands and then we have, um, how are they feeling about you, pile one? You know, here's what I'm getting. The feminine here, you look like a, a, a Venetian goddess. Like you've got it all. Like I'm, I'm getting fruit, you know, fruit baskets at your feet. The masculines want you. The feminines want you. You guys have established a level of energy that this person feels intimidated by. They are not used to having someone as attractive as you, okay? And they're not used to having, you know, a high vibrational person in their life. You're dealing with someone who has definitely worked from the bottom to the top, and you're dealing with someone who's more focused on 3D and ego than spiritual, and this is why opposites attract, okay? So what is the outcome here? But I do feel that you guys provide a level of, wow, like they want to start new with you. I want to show you a good time. Okay, listen, some of you guys, this person right now, they are feeling very defensive when it comes to love because they are not really trying to go there right now. Again, their focus is very much on their soil, on, on creating, you know, uh, a harvest for themselves on their resources. They So I'm getting a lot of you guys have a beautiful essence of love. You like to share your love with this person, but they are getting very defensive about this because they don't feel like they have enough to offer you. So they feel like they're constantly having to tame themselves. For some, you guys just have a very dominant a Santa Marta personality. Okay, God bless her. Yes. Um, you guys are very uh, in your power and they it's almost like maybe you're a Leo. They are threatened by the fact that you know how to dominate their emotions. Some of you, you get this person real turned on by doing nothing, by just by just being you, and they find this very defensive because you're dealing with a masculine, okay, my loves, who likes to be in control. Your masculine here likes to be in control of the situation of you and this this situation here and i feel someone here is constantly having to tug at the power and i feel it's the feminine here you know how to dominate this person's emotions and a lot of you guys are just so beautiful inside and out they don't know what is going on so here we have the moon again there's a lot of fear with the feminine a lot of twin flame energies here they don't know what to make of this this person has a strong 5d connection with you they feel very uh, enlightened by you. They feel very cosmic with you. They can feel your energy is what I'm hearing. And they're also having a lot of dreams. I'm hearing manifestation. I manifested you. So they know you're very sacred, okay? This person knows you're very sacred. But I'm getting that, you know, there's a lot of fear around not being able to give to you the way they want to give to you. So right now... Unfortunately, where they are in terms of their um, their growth, this person is in a very selfish place, you guys. This matches up with my vision of them constantly looking away from you because you are shining, you are doing things in your life, and this person is really heavily focused on their past and their wounds. So if you are thinking about coming to this person, I would say wait. They are not in a good place. This person is very selfish, a little bit narcissistic, you guys. Um, I don't want to throw that around, but for some of you, this is true. For others, this person is just very defensive and they have a me versus you energy. And a lot of this is about them saying, okay, well, if you want to keep trying, you can keep trying, but I'm going to have it my way. So you see the cutthroat energy. 
all because they don't have fruition yet. Some of you guys are doing a lot better than this person, pile one, and they can't handle it. This person is suffering, watching you thrive, and they feel like they're nowhere near you, okay? So, wow, that is what I see. Let's move on, okay, to pile two. Okay, pile two. How is your person feeling about you? Some of you guys left this person, honey, some of you guys left this person high and dry. And ever since you have left, their abundance has died. Something about your presence elevated this person's abundance. So you guys have very abundant ancestors. They, I, I'm hearing they shot themselves in the foot. Some of you guys, this person took you for granted, and I'm seeing everything that they touch is withering. They're, they're walking down an empty, empty road. Um, I'm almost getting that they thought maybe the grass was going to be greener on the other side, or maybe that, that they could find something like you or someone like you at any time. And now they're having to realize that you are there's only one of you. Okay. And I'm not saying that to like stroke your ego. I'm just saying it like I have to call it how I see it. This person was under the heaviest influence, um, that they had more options and maybe they did, but right now they are sulking, honey. How are they feeling about you, pal, too? Some of you guys are dealing with, um, someone with the name of C, of J, of R. I'm getting a cancer, sun moon rising i'm getting a scorpio could be a pisces i'm getting a virgo rising or sun moon i'm hearing 11th house virgo could be leo sag aries this could be the one i'm getting a lot of earth placements in their chart though how are they, what's going on in this connection? You guys feel, you know, literally, I'm hearing 11 months. I keep getting 111, so this is very specific for you. I feel this connection was very deeply rooted in um, unconditional love. I feel this person did not know how to move this connection with you. They don't know how to... Um, we have flirt in reverse. They don't know how to elevate the situation with you. It's almost like they don't know how to get it off the ground. And the feminine here felt exhausted trying to move. It's like you were trying to move a mountain, honey, okay? You were not having it. So we have love yourself first. What's going on in this connection? So both of you guys are learning some lessons here about self-worth and self-love. Um, I feel I'm having a vision of a little... Um, I don't know why I'm seeing a dreidel like it. Uh, I don't know if that's what it's called, but you spin it and it stops. Some of you guys got a reading and you got the truth about this person. Or this person got a reading on you and they, they received the truth. I'm hearing North Node and South Node. Strong twin flames, you guys. Could be soulmate as well. But this divine counterpart situation, if it is a divine counterpart, I'm getting a lot of, wow. Like, I, I learned a lot about myself after this reading. Or I learned a lot about myself after this relationship. The feminine here, someone here was risking something. It could be the masculine. It could be you. Um, it's like... Playing truth or dare, okay? Someone here was playing with fire, trying to risk the connection, thinking that they were going to find someone else just as amazing as you, or that there was nothing special about this connection, or that they could play with fire and keep you waiting. A lot of you guys walked away from this person and you said, mm, I don't think so, pile two, mm-mm. Something about where this specific spinner landed is about fate, okay? So this is about fate. This is about landing in a specific place in your life to learn some very serious lessons about your self-worth. 
And I'm also getting that money is an issue here. We have someone who is a flirt, but they have blocked a lot of this. And what the only card that is in the upright is this could be the one. Both of you guys know that this connection is deeper than what it is. But your masculine took this for granted. I'm hearing they risked something thinking that they could still have it and now it's biting them in the butt okay and i'm also getting that j call uh, excuse me j cole song in the morning and i'm also getting uh jason aldean when the lights come off or lights off i love country it's really awesome not all of it, but some. But these are my two channeled messages, okay? Some of you guys are really dealing with someone who um, there is a very strong connection on a physical level. They risked something with you. And this person now is really upset that they did this because now they see that you are in your energy of justice. A lot of you guys brought back fairness. You're learning how to love yourself. You're learning how to grow Pavana where they left you. You're learning alchemy. You're learning how to transform a painful environment into something um, like self-mastery. Some of you guys traveled away from this person. We have Libra, Gemini, Aquarius in reverse. Some of you guys, your communication has been brutal. I don't know what's going on, but I'm almost getting that after this spinner stopped, everything transformed. You guys were split apart. I feel both of you guys had to face the truth of the matter. The masculine here did something that was very, very cruel. It's almost like there was a lot of carving your name on a piece of wood because they really see forever with you. Okay. It's like a very, very, uh, conflicted energy but they were heavily heavily in denial as well it's almost like they saw this beautiful future with you they wanted this with you you know how when you're really young and you're in love and you carve your names on the tree to make sure it's forever um, my 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 first little puppy love in Aquarius um, when I was 14 15 you know he he drew our names on the cement you know when it was still wet so you know, meaning like things that really mean forever for this person, your heart and their heart is forever carved into a place that will not disappear. But this person has, you know, I'm getting there are a lot of options. There's a lot of illusions, maybe um, highly idealistic energies, fantasizing, a lot of wishing one person would do more, a lot of can we take it to the next step? The masculine here is very fearful of what they feel for you because I'm getting that after waking up in the morning next to you, if they woke up next to you, if that doesn't resonate, this person had a very meaningful conversation with you in the morning on their drive or whatever it was. They felt so deeply, deeply um, tangled into your heart that they didn't know how to get out. And this person wants to be in control. You're dealing with a silent strength. You're dealing with somebody who does not like being out of control when it comes to their emotions. Okay, we have the Six of Pentacles. So someone here had more than the other. Or there was like a constant, it, it does mean equality, but in this card for me in love, it always makes me think of one person who gives a lot, who's giving um, because they're very generous. Maybe you had more money, maybe you had more time, maybe you have more energy and this wasn't balanced. So I am getting that this connection became balanced and you guys, I feel you really brought balance to this person's life. They might even be a Libra. And they were under this impression that when they walked away from you, that they could touch another flower, specifically a daisy. And that it would grow. This is representative of them connecting with other people thinking that it's going to be the same experience, that they're going to have the same feeling and they were wrong. So how do they feel about you now? Self-mastery. You are my one. How sweet is that? How do they feel about you? 
Okay. This person, you know, they're struggling with their ego because it's like life knocks your beloved down. We have the six of pentacles. We have the five of swords, five of air. We have the ten of wands. We have the magician and then we have the fool. You know, this person, um, their biggest, biggest challenge here, Aries, immaturity is immaturity in their, their emotions, immaturity in their expression and love. What the issue is, is their selfishness or their need to keep a one up attitude about this connection. You know, if you're wondering why you haven't grown with this person yet, it's because they have not moved out of their ego. This person does not want you to control anything, even though they feel that you are the one. I'm hearing tempted by fire. So this person, it, it's like they want to have you, but they want to have their cake other, you know, in other areas as well. So they were trying to test the waters to see if it would feel the same, if it would feel different, if they could still have the same feeling elsewhere and little to be known that they cannot replace your energy. This person, listen, When you guys walked away, I'm getting the feminine here, you're done. This person, everything that they touched died in their hands. And this is a representation that not everything glitters is gold. They were under this heavy illusion that they could find another one of you. And then they realized, Ten of Wands, they can't find another one of you. But this person is still heavily, heavily conflicted. They want control. They want to be able to, it's like you versus me. They're under the impression that if they let their guard down, that this situation is going to overpower them. They can't have that. This person, you know, they've lived a life where they are constantly defensive. They're constantly worried of being taken advantage of, okay? And they're carrying, with the raven here, they're carrying a lot of spiritual debris. This person is exhausted, you guys. They have been... Maybe loss is a big deal in their life and they, they're afraid to lose you. They're afraid to lose themselves. They're afraid to lose their identity, okay? They're afraid to lose their power. So now they feel like they want to manifest a new future with you. For some, this person does not want to come at this with love. I'm almost getting they want to use something else. They want a new beginning with you because some of you are mastering yourselves. You started a new beginning without them. I can't believe you're gone. It was like yesterday. I had you in my arms. That could be metaphoric too. So what is the outcome for pile two? So you guys, honestly, um, this connection needs time to grow because you're dealing with someone who is very focused. We have the finances card in reverse. We have a Capricorn Taurus Virgo. We have a Knight of Pentacles in reverse, and then we have the Seven of Cups. This is someone who has several options, okay? So again, although they're realizing now that everything they touch withers because not everyone has the same frequency as you they are not ready to surrender their ego it's almost like what they're gonna do you're gonna see them show off a little bit you guys have moved away you're in a new beginning they cannot handle that you have left them behind despite them realizing that they were the ones who 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 risk this connection they are in their their ego okay so the outcome is right now general reading this person is heavily invested in um pursuing not only their finances but in pursuing something short term because they cannot fathom losing another person right before they met you this person lost somebody in their family or they lost somebody you know within their friendship or loss is a theme in their life 
and they cannot fathom the idea of losing someone else that they care about. So this is something very big for them as well. This could also represent their need to win, their overinflated ego um, when it comes to competition. So this is someone co who could also view this connection as something as a chess board, a, a chess game. Do I have a chance at winning? If I don't have a chance at winning, why even bother? Okay, so I would say with this one, you guys, you know, take it slow and let this person show you. Okay. All right. Let's move on. Pile three. How, let's, let's see what's going on with pile three. What's going on with this connection. Okay. I'm hearing fruition. Someone here has been hiding. Um, I feel like your person has been hiding from you and they're watching you walk around. They're watching you, um, collect information or some of you guys know this person is spying on you. I don't know why I feel that someone here is hiding underneath this very dark tunnel, like trying to play it, play it cool. OK, so we have forgiving and learning. Someone here has been in the dark watching the other collect information. Um, someone here should not be in the other person's home. So this to me is about some spying. This vision is about spying on the person. This vision is about alchemy, but it's about learning. Someone here is learning about you from afar. They're trying to collect as much information about you as possible. They feel more comfortable when you're at a distance is what I'm getting, okay? Yes, we have deception. We have some sneakiness going on, okay? So I'm also getting a lot of... Um, Blue energies here representing the throat chakra, spiritual wisdom, representing your truth, your self-expression, your self-identity, and your past life connections, okay? As I said that, look, we have the soulmate card calling in your soulmate. So what's going on in this connection? I feel like you're dealing with someone you don't really know. Some of you guys are dealing with somebody who I'm hearing, I, I have no clue who you are confrontation, movement. This is very tricky. You're very frustrated with this person, pile three. A lot of you guys feel highly frustrated. There's a lot of chemistry here. I said blues. Your masculine is very much into philosophy. They like to learn about you. They like to learn the world around them. They're very sneaky. Um, they should have been, honey, they should have been a, a private investigator because they got all that energy going here for them. A Scorpio, a Cancer, you know, we have a Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising. We have an Aries, believe it or not, because Aries are, are very good at collecting information when they want to. And, you know, this energy here really revolves around... Um, They hide from you. It's almost like they hide from your light or you don't even know that they're around you guys. This person, um, they watch you. They watch you on social media. This person likes to keep tabs on you. But I'm getting a lot of frustration and I feel like a big part of this is because it's still new. This connection is still new. And I'm almost getting a lot of leaving you on red, not responding, not really having anything to say, um, what's going on in this connection. And we have a, a serious, serious energy here of not being who they are presenting themselves to be. You know, I'm hearing mastery, magician. You're dealing with somebody who has several facets to their personality. This person is not just one person, okay? Yes, we have the Knight of Wands. We have a Leo, Sag, Aries, someone who's in and out of your life, who's very adventurous. Um, this connection has been very passionate, but I'm getting that they have left you countless times. And a lot of you guys have been minding your own business. Um, the Eight of Pentacles, both of you guys have been working on your life individually. For some, this person is, is watching what you're doing for work and they're copying. They're very uh, fascinated by you. They like to copy your work because they want, they, they just feel like you know what you're doing. For some, you're dealing with somebody who has no they have no, I, I don't know why I'm getting this, you guys. Forgive me. I'm not trying to trigger anybody. This person, whoever this is, for some, 
they have no intention on coming forward. I'm getting a lot of spying, a lot of wanting to stay at a distance, a, a lot of wanting to watch you because they like to watch you. And there's something about maybe some of you guys are older. They don't feel good enough for you. They don't feel experienced, okay? There is a lot of chemistry. They haven't made a decision with that Eight of Swords in reverse. For some of you, they feel blocked by the universe is what I'm hearing. So maybe this is something that the universe has kind of, they, they've, um, you know, your guides have separated you from because it is not ready or it is not for you. You're dealing with someone who is very sneaky, you guys. I don't know what they do for a living, but they might even do something where they're constantly spying on other people for a living. Um, they're working as some kind of private private investigator. They're doing something where they're constantly spying. But it's like, I don't know why I'm getting a very lukewarm energy about this connection here. We have Leo, Sag, Aries, okay? This person has not really told you who they are. They, they haven't really told you about, you know, um, <laughs> maybe this person has a pet. Yeah, you know, they they do a lot of they do a lot of games. There's a lot of game playing here with their words. They do a lot of this, I don't know, for some of you gaslighting or for some they just like to leave you on red. There's a lot of like privacy things. Like they they show you they're interested, but they're very bizarre. This person is very bizarre. It's almost like maybe you don't even know who this person is. They they avoid contact is what I'm hearing and they like to just watch. Specifically your work. Whatever you're doing for work, they're very interested in. There's a lot of deception here, you guys, that I want you to be careful for. This person, um, they do something for a living at night. Or they leave a feminine at night. And they come out and they're, they're off off into their own world. Some of you, this person already has a girlfriend. I don't see a wife per se, but I see someone who has a girlfriend or a steady partner that they hang out with or they spend time with. And I feel this person is very um, into you. So they, they spy on you at night or they do a lot of investigation on you at night. Maybe this person, I'm almost getting, they haven't even told you how they felt yet. It's like they're trying to come up with a plan on how to tell you how they feel, but then you see they have another feminine energy here waiting for them. For some, this person is, um, you know, they're doing some kind of magic on you. This person has a grandmother, grandparents, or family in the craft, and they are so obsessed with keeping you at a distance. Wow. Maybe Native American roots here, maybe not. Okay. Okay. Um, but it could be, you know, some kind of santeria. It could be anything, really. And they're not bad. I'm not claiming this is a bad thing because all cultures, we all have duality and magic. Duality means we have both light and dark within our craft. It doesn't matter what we are practicing, okay? Magic is duality, some people will say there's no such thing. All magic is good. And that's fine. You know, um, I'm big on intention. What is our intention when we manifest? Our words are spell work. You know, our words, our intentions, our thoughts, our feelings. So take it as it resonates. Whoever this is, you guys, this person is definitely having someone do work on you. Something around the full moon as well. They do work specifically around the full moon. You're dealing with a masculine who's very spiritual. And if you're spiritual, they're very curious about what you're doing. They're very much into alchemy or magic or... Um, energy. This person is very interested in en energy. So they might even tell you that they really love science because energy is science. We, we can get very scientific with energy, right? I mean, the reality, everything is energy and they want to talk about it. <laughs> this person's very, this is new, you guys. This is very new and they're very interested in you. We do have, um, what is this? The eight of swords in reverse. 
How are they feeling about you? I feel this person was definitely confined. Maybe that's why they never approached you, but it's almost like they found a way to sneak out and come towards you. They are feeling very conflicted about you. Because there's a lot here blocking them. They feel like getting to you, you may live at a distance, you guys. Yeah, you guys are not close to each other. But there's something about you that they feel is worthy watching. They want to watch you and they want to talk to you. This person really wants to have a conversation. I don't feel like they've come up to you yet. But this person is feeling very curious. Look at that face. We're dealing with a masculine here who's like, hi. Hi. Can we talk about alchemy? Can we talk about transmutation? Can we talk about Egyptian mythology? I don't know. I, I'm almost getting a lot of these things. Your person is very interested in the occult. Occult is not bad. Um, now, occult is a whole nother situation. And um, it's almost like they want to talk to you about your spirituality or they want to talk to you about beliefs. Um, this could be a, a soulmate. I don't know. I almost said twin flame. So maybe this is a twin flame. But what is the outcome for pile three? I'm hearing spiritual messages. Please pay attention to number synchronicities and also feathers because this is a very guided connection. But I'm also hearing warning. So be aware that you guys are not falling into the trap of a situation here with somebody who... Um, is not capable of giving you a long-term partnership because I do feel for some of you this person may be a twin or a soulmate if not this person just needs to make a decision between you and somebody else they already have at home something about feathers is very significant here okay we have the three of cups in reverse exactly the outcome. This is about infidelity and um, an affair. So for some, this person is going to try to approach you very slow and steady. They're going to want to talk to you about spirit, spiritual stuff. They're going to want to talk to you about alchemy or they're just want, going to want to get in a zone with you. But they are with somebody, you guys. This person leaves at night to track you down or they have like a system at night where they have someone fall asleep. We have the two of cups. And it's like they need to make a decision before they come towards you. I feel this is someone you may have recently broken up with as well. I don't know why I'm getting that. And the outcome is the chariot. So there's a lot of... Um, Fast communication. This person wants to communicate with you. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven of wands. And we have the chariot, okay? It's almost like they want to defend this connection because you walked away from it. Or, or there's just something about... Some of you, they feel like you were in a relationship and now they see you out of it. So the outcome is to come towards you. For others, this person, it's like they can't really do anything about the feminine at home. So they're trying to come towards you and they do have a plan to conquer you. My guides are like, yes. So you want to be careful because there is going to be some kind of offer here, but it's it, it involves some kind of infidelity. There's some low vibrational stuff here going on, so be aware, my loves, please. Okay, so let's move on to pile four. Okay, pile four. Okay, I'm having a vision of um, the bear totem here. Look, look that up for you guys because you guys are represented. Your connection is very protected. It's very protected. I'm having a vision of a black bear, which is very spiritual. There's a lot of shamanism here. Um, I feel like there's a level of protection. This person is, is very protective over you and this love, okay? This person might craft things by hand. They make jewelry or they make something. They're crafters. They're in the music industry. They're doing something where they're making their own design. They're making you something. They're gifting you something or they're thinking about you. This person likes to listen to music and then they draw or um, they're, they're creating something from their hands. 
they're, they're doing, I'm listening, you guys. I'm getting a thread and beads. So this person is very crafty. For some, this person has written a song about you that they have not given to you yet. They're very artistic and very much in their feelings about you. For some of you, this person's name is John, Jonathan, and Joshua. For others, I'm getting a Renee, Rena, Laura. The power in your eyes. Everything you do reminds me of why I stay so determined in my life. Your person is very in their heart space because I am so able to tune into them right now. So this is a very past life related connection. Both of you guys feel very ignited, okay? And I'm getting a lot of the masculine here. They like to wear black shorts or black pants or, or darker colored jeans. Um, they like to, you know, spend a lot of time in their room creating this person I'm hearing altruism. Both of you guys have a strong connection around humanitarian work. I'm hearing an Aquarian moon, sun, moon rising. You guys feel like you have a strong responsibility to humanity. And this person cannot stop making things that inspire. It's like you inspire them to do better. I'm hearing you're like my muse. You're like my model. This person looks at your photo while they start creating something new in their life because you represent their muse. Something about a boat trip. This person may, um, they're going to invite you on a boat trip, okay? They want to invite you out. This person wants to take you on a trip. Um, they want to, I don't know why I'm getting a lot of the water. They want to spend time by the water. You know, this person is really big on... Um, cleansing by the water and they're going to tell you their own perception of why they feel this is strong. You guys have had many past lives together. Um, your connection is very powerful. You can feel when this person is thinking about you. If you are clairaudient, I'm hearing that your guides are constantly snitching on this person because the minute they open that portal, I call it the portal, but the minute they open that portal to talk about you, you can hear them. So right now, you know, this connection, I, I do feel like the feminine feels very tender towards their masculine, but I'm also getting the feminine here. You might be a model for a living or you're doing something where you look absolutely stunning in person. I'm sorry. Yeah, maybe you look stunning in person, but you're, you're doing something involving your aesthetic, your beauty. And I'm getting a lot of modeling here, but it could be anything, you guys. And if that doesn't resonate, it could just be that you take really good photos on Instagram. It makes this person really envious, like jealous. Um, and I think a big part of this is that you guys have more of a self-esteem or confidence around who you are than your person. Your person is very silently working on projects that involve your beauty, is what I'm hearing. This person is definitely someone you've been back and forth with. I'm hearing back and forth, back and forth. You are definitely a sacred feminine because you gravitated towards this deck. There is a lot of people in your business. I'm almost getting a lot of gossip. This could be a third party, but I don't know why I'm getting. It feels like a lot of people have been talking about you, okay? So as of right now, I am having a vision of a bikini, a crochet bikini, Maybe some, I, I don't know, this person, maybe they, they're fantasizing about having you in a crochet bikini that they make for you, or this is something that they saw and they want to give to you, or they want you to wear it. Um, something about you is timeless is what I'm hearing. They, they feel like you're absolutely stunning. I'm hearing that this person is in recovery. For some of you, this person is trying to get sober, okay? Or there's something that they haven't told you in regards to their sobriety. This person is very focused on recovering from a broken heart or a broken home situation. But something about looking at you, man, it really inspires this person so much. So what is going on in this connection, please? I'm also getting that, you know, they have someone, um, a friend specifically, they're tan, they wear a ring on their pinky, their friend is always asking them what their problem is. I feel like they, you know, they, they're really in a trance about you. Maybe they're making a song about that. 
there's something about you that has really elevated this person's spirit. It's elevated their creativity and their friend is constantly mocking them. I, I'm getting a friend here who's constantly in their ear um, and I'm hearing that they, they plant these negative seeds. I don't know why. Um, we have the eight of wands for the sacred feminine here. Okay, so maybe you guys are astral traveling to each other in the spirit realm. You know, their friend is very jealous. Um, but you're dealing with a masculine who does not have a lot of money or they don't have a lot of, st I don't want to say status, but they don't feel like they have enough to gift you. Like they don't have enough for a diamond ring right now. And I'm almost getting that their friend is like, that person will never go for you. Why are you, why are you even trying? Okay. So I'm getting you guys had a lot of like strong energies strong communication back and forth, a lot of like 5D energy, you know, I'm getting struck by Cupid and I feel like you guys felt this too, but a lot of you guys have more, more of a presence and more power than this person and they feel as if you would never look at them like that or they feel as if very insecure, like someone as beautiful as you would never, ever pay attention. And it doesn't help because their friends are always telling them things that involve superficiality. Like someone like you would cheat on them. Someone like you would take their money or, you know, so you're dealing with a lot, pile four. Okay. Let's see here. What's going on in this connection? Yeah, the feminine here, you have a lot going on in your life. So I'm getting that maybe you guys have overlooked this person a few times, um, but I do feel a lot of you know that you really like this person, but your masculine is obsessed with you. Here in, in this pile, okay, your masculine is the one who's drooling over you. They, they can't get over you. I don't know if you guys have more work than this person or you guys have more going on. We have the 10 of wands. We have the four of cups in reverse. The feminine here is like, I ain't even got time to be breathing in a peasant space. Like I'm a queen. So this person is at odds with themselves because they aren't as busy as um, someone here wears Nike socks. Like they're very, um, you know, they're, they're, they're growing. I feel like they're growing in their field or they're growing in their, their level of work or, you know, but they look at you and they compare like, how am I ever going to match to this person's energy or this person's frequency? They look at you and they're in awe. They've never had a bad be like you. Okay. Yes. And then we have the moon. So there's a lot of fear. Okay. I feel like you guys have had some really beautiful conversations. Your masculine feels obsessed with you. And because of this obsession, it's creating a lot of fear. Some of you guys might be heavily into magic on the side, maybe on the low you're manifesting. And if it's not magic, it's just, you know how to manifest your stuff. And this person is fearful that you're doing some kind of work on them. Um, because they, they don't know I'm hearing, I'm bound to your, your eyes, your heart. Like, how did you do it? And then their friends are egging this on as well. They have some real shady friends, you guys. They need to get rid of their friends. Okay. So pile four, how do they feel? Let's clarify. I can't get you out of my head. We have the nine of pentacles. You guys got it going on. You guys got your money, right? You got your, your coins. You got your purse. You got your bag. You look fabulous. You look like you're on the runway of Gucci. You look like you're on the runway of Victoria's Secret. Um, and either way, even if you don't, you know, whatever, you're beautiful. In their eyes, they feel like you are a goddess walking on water. And you, you the most important thing, they feel like you're very independent and you got your own business and you have your own money. You have your own wealth. How do they feel about you? For me, the Knight of Pentacles, you guys, it's always about a, a feminine who comes from power, who's very high status, who's elevated, who's articulate, um, who, you know, giving me some serious Beyonce vibes, you know, someone who isn't overly exposed, someone who carries themselves with a lot of like, you know, like I know I look good, but I also know I have a big heart. So you guys, this person really feels it with you. How do they feel about you? I can't put my pen down about you. I write about you every day. The Nine of Wands, they feel defensive because a lot of you guys 
are very powerful witches. You guys come from Egypt, your past lives. You guys have a strong connection to Isis. When I think of Isis, I always think about um, Cleopatra. So you have a very seductive energy. You bring this person life force and they feel lost without you. And I feel like right now it's like one of the things that's pulling them into you right now, into your energy, is that they don't have you. Yeah, you are the ultimate seductress. Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You got that sensuality. You know how to cook. You know how to clean. And you still make your own money. You own your own business. This person feels like a child next to you because I'm almost getting that they, and maybe they really like your breasts. You guys, I hate to say it like that. I'm so sorry if you guys are offended, but they want to lash on to you like, I'm almost getting some kind of fantasy around role play as well. Like they're very into you or you guys have provided them with like a motherly essence, a very maternal essence. So they might even struggle with some issues around abandonment with their mother. And whenever you provoke this in your partner, it creates a very tense dynamic for them because a part of them wants to embrace the missing mother and the other part of them wants to be very... Um, you know, cruel to the missing mother. And this is what you represent. Okay. I just got a little psychology here. The seven of swords, they feel like you have caught on to a lot of their BS. They were trying to present themselves as something that they were not. And a lot of you guys can see straight past it. Okay. I'm hearing, just tell me who you are. Just tell me who you are. Give me the real honest truth. Tell me who you are. So how are they feeling about you? So this person drinks, you guys, they drink a lot. And this is when they get into their rants. One of the reasons why their friends are so heavily critical of them is because this person loses their mind when they're drinking about you. They get into this hyper delusional energy about you because your person is actually very intuitive. They're naturally psychic. They're tuning into your energy because you guys have had a past life together. They are heavily criticized on a constant basis by the people around them because they lose their control when they're with you or away from you. And this is more about them being around their friends, being inebriated, and they can't handle it because they always feel left out in the cold. They're always healing from you walking away from them. I'm getting a lot of you guys are like, you're either going to show me who you are or you're going to just just leave. You know, I'm getting a lot of frustration from the feminine. The feminine here is snapping their fingers. So you guys are used to having people in your life who are about it and you have no problem finding someone new. This person is incredibly threatened by that, but they are so turned on by it. So wow, this energy is intense. You guys make this person lose their effing mind. I just can't lose you. This person feels very competitive about you right now. So the outcome is a lot of healing. I feel like there's been a lot of healing between both of you. Despite the feminine being very prideful and in your power, I do feel you guys are feeling sad about this disconnection. Um, and, and both of you want a reconnection. I am getting, if you guys have not been physical with your person yet, oh my gosh. The physical connection in this pile is so addictive, I want you to be very careful because mainly for your masculine, the feminine here, I feel you could lose yourself too, but there's something about the feminine that your power is so strong and rooted in your own self-esteem and your independence. You don't play that. And I feel like you've left this person out in the cold several times. Okay. I am hearing November October, November are going to be big months for you guys. This person is going to come in. I feel like they can't take it anymore. It's like they, they're wanting to just kind of own you. Ooh, child. Okay. All right, loves. Let me know if it resonates. Bye. Talk soon.